this video, we will discuss the new enhancements in SAP 2000 version 25.1.0. Let's get started. These are all the enhancements that have been included. For analysis, functions can now be added or modified after analysis is run and the model is locked. And we'll run through an example of this. Frame design has now been parallelized to provide faster designs. And for results and output, performance improvements have been made to improve speed, reduce memory while covering results. Also, the ability to disable saving fiber analysis results for fiber PMM frame hinges has been added to allow reduction amount of results data saved. And we'll also go through an example of installation and licensing. Sign-in licensing is now available. First, let's take a look at how functions can now be added or modified after analysis has been run and the model is locked. So you can see up here, this model has been locked, but you still have the ability to go ahead and define functions. So why don't we add a response spectrum function. If we click add new function, you can see this function one response spectrum has now been added. What you can also do is add new load cases as well. So if we specifically add a new load case for a response spectrum function, under load case type, response spectrum, we'll go ahead and add a loads applied. The purpose of this is to define a new load case. And in this case, it's called a case one, load case type response spectrum. Now, when running the analysis, if we click on the Run Analysis button, the Set Load Cases to Run has now been opened up here. So the DET, Modal, and Lateral X load cases have already been run, but this new load case, A Case 1, which is for Response Spectra, has not been run. So users now have the ability to add or modify these functions after the analysis without having to reanalyze any of the existing load cases. So this saves the user quite a bit of time, especially for larger models that can contain many functions and load cases. Okay, next, let's take a look at frame design, which has now been parallelized to provide faster designs. Let me show you where that's located. Under Analyze Set Analysis Options, if we click on Advanced Sapphire Options, and you'll notice if I click on the separate process, the parallel load case options become enabled. So frame design is parallelized for faster design. What does that really mean? It's typically recommended that only fast, dedicated analysis machines be used for the use up to all physical cores option, as it can slow down other tasks running on the system. So if you need to perform other work on the machine while the analysis is running, choose the fixed number of cores that is less than the number of physical cores available, right here. Running more load cases than the number of physical cores in parallel generally does not speed up the analysis, hence it is not recommended. So here you can set the number of cores, the effective number of cores here is located as well, or of course you can use the first option, use up to all physical cores. So this is where that option has been embedded here in the program. Next, let's take a look at the option for the ability to disable uh, saving individual fiber analysis results for fiber PMM frame hinges. So this can be found underneath the assign frame hinges. In the assign frame hinges form, you can see the save individual fiber response for fiber hinges option can be toggled on and off. So disabling the saving of individual fiber analysis results for fiber PMM frame hinges has been added to allow the reduction of the amount of results. Unchecking this option can be used in models with large number of fiber PMM hinges where the user may not be interested in viewing detailed fiber results for all hinges to reduce the size of the analysis results data files. So if this option is not checked, the individual fiber results, say for stress, strain, state and status, will not be available after analysis has been completed. Hinge response, hinge state and status will be available. Okay, lastly, let's take a look at CSI Cloud Sign-In Licensing. It's a new feature that's been added to both SAP 2000 and CSI Bridge. Cloud Sign-In Licensing greatly simplifies licensing while offering greater security and flexibility. So if we take a look at a few options here, you can see Cloud Sign-In Licensing here has been updated. Okay, so what are some of the advantages of using the cloud sign-in licensing? So accessing CSI software using individual secure sign-in credentials. No more activation keys. Licenses can be available anywhere with internet access. 
also the ability to remotely terminate a user's active license session by a customer account administrator. The option to control users' access to the licensing by defining custom license groups, as you can see down here. Okay, so what is a license group? CSI offers the option for users to create a user-defined license group for their sign-in licensing. License group is defined as a set of licenses and a list of users who have access to those specific licenses. This allows customers flexibility and control over their licenses by limiting license access by specific user. So again, this is now available in SAP 2000 as well as CSI Bridge.